This apes has tons of tickers running, yet AMC gets extremely suppressed. Over the last week or so, when a lot of big names have been running, AMC has been getting knocked down with extremely low trading volume. It has been sort of weird. This ape also says, when does the pathetic crimes end? When does Citadel Bank's hedges and short sellers get investigated for spoofing, market manipulation, security fraud, and more? We are not leaving. This ape says one random day, you will see AMC up 50,000% out of nowhere. It will start pre-market, you will see it's at least 100 million of volume in the first 10 minutes. You will know there will be the signs. And this ape down below said the biggest risk we have. Apes not realizing that the first sign of a peak doesn't mean that the MOS is over. Only thing that will limit how much we profit is the sum of decisions to sell by the apes. But a lot will sell early out of FOLO. And another ape said I disagree to Liquid. I find it hard to believe the investors holding for over two years and watching the amount of crime involved in this in this decide to sell at the first sign of a peak. And this is a good point. I don't know about you guys, comment down below what you think, but ever since I've owned my shares of AMC stock, I have at times been up a lot on my shares and I have at times been down a lot on my shares, but I personally have just continued to hold because I'm looking for big, big money. Of course, everyone has their own numbers, but comment down below what you're going to do at the first signs of the squeeze. This article is talking more about how much the short sellers have lost this year. It says short sellers lose $120 billion in 2023. Short sellers have incurred roughly $120 billion in mark to market losses this year, including $72 billion in the first half of June, according to S3. There are still many investors and hedge funds who think that the rally is ready for a pullback, or at least that several of the high flying stocks will lose steam and revert back to the mean. And the AI-driven rally in big tech stocks is responsible for most of these losses. Jumps in heavily shorted meme stocks have meant greater pain for hedge funds and institutions betting against the markets. Increasing interest rates also mean that holding short positions is becoming more and more costly. To short a stock, a trader must borrow shares and then sell them. The trader pays an interest rate for borrowing these shares. Those short interest rates rise along with the federal funds rate and along with other factors. I hate short selling as a strategy. Best case scenario, you make 100% on your money. Worst case, your potential is unlimited loss. Because remember, when you sell a stock short, you have to buy it back at some point in the future. And if the stock moves up in price, and as we've seen in the past, they definitely can do so, your loss can be unlimited. Moreover, you're swimming against a general rising tide of the markets, and that short position is costing you interest along the way. So not only do some short sellers make the wrong decision in betting short when the stock market's starting to move up, but then you're also getting charged interest along the way. So you're getting hit from both sides. And this is why so far this year, the short sellers are down big time. 